Hello, today I will test this solar kit. Lately I'm thinking about installing a few big solar panels on my house. Of course I will need charge controller, batteries, inverter, cables and so on. Setup like this can be very expensive. So while I'm thinking about big solar setup, I got myself this cheap solar kit and I'm planning to use it to charge my USB devices as phones, tablets, cameras, smartwatch, Bluetooth speakers, flashlights, power banks, multimeters and even this 12 volts lithium battery that I can use for light. Also I got this uh, to learn more about solar, to play with it, to measure, to enjoy electronics. It is useful to own something like this. For example, if you are going on camping trips or similar trips where you don't have electricity. This video is sponsored by Banggood and they were very nice to send me this kit. Right now spring sale is going on, so price is great. You can check links in the description of this video. So here is kit. Inside this box we can find solar charge controller, solar panel, cables and these uh, things used to mount panel on window. You will also need additional battery and I will use this small 12 volts battery because it is lightweight. Keep in mind that uh, this set will not power your dishwasher or run your water heater, but it will be enough for charging batteries on your devices. Also you can use bigger battery and use inverter like this one. Uh, with inverter you will be able to run, run AC devices. So you can charge your laptop or run some other devices like mini TV. But uh, more about inverters in my next video. Keep in mind that if you discharge battery too much this panel will need many hours to many hours of direct sun to charge it. I tested uh, this panel and I was able to get uh, 15 watts from it. Keep in mind that uh, it is still winter here in Croatia and I, I expect to get few watts more on summer days and of course more sun hours. On this solar controller we can find six terminals. First two are used for connecting solar panel plus and minus middle ones are used to connect battery and last two are used to connect load for example some LED lights and or I don't know for charging another 12 volt battery but keep in mind that max current of load is 2 amps when connecting the device there is only one <laughs> rule uh, you need to connect the battery first and then you can connect solar panel and last if you want you can connect load. Right now we can see that battery is connected and uh, voltage on uh, solar controller shows 12.5 volts. I will connect also this cable which I will use to connect solar panel. First terminals are used for solar panel and Keep in mind that you need to take care about positive and negative. So you can see my positive lead is marked with piece of red tape. And let's connect solar panel to charge controller. We can see that there is arrow blinking so my battery is now recharging I will place my solar panel on direct sun and we can see that battery is recharging these solar controllers will not give you information how many how much amps are going into battery they are really simple, but they work very fine. 
they will keep your battery always charged. On solar charger there are also two USB ports and I'm planning to use these ports to charge my phones and other devices. You can see that my phone is charging. But I can also use these uh, po uh, load terminals and I will connect this lithium battery, 12 volts. So this battery will also be re recharged. You can see that uh, when load is applied to charge controller th there is voltage drop on solar controller. That is normal. Using these three push buttons you can set few settings for example full voltage uh, disconnect voltage for load reconnect voltage for load uh, type of battery but if you leave it on default settings it will be fine with the lead acid battery only thing that you need to change if you have some other battery then you will need to change type of battery but it is everything is explained in this tiny but but useful manual after using three days of this solar kit uh, only thing i would recommend is to get bigger battery you can use your old car battery or something like this overall i'm very happy with this kit it's, it is lightweight small you can mount it on your window or carry with yourself on your trips in one day i was able to recharge many devices using usb prices is also very good don't forget to check links in description that's it have a nice day and i will see you soon with new video don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.